What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have three different ways of styling the Balenciaga boots that I recently just purchased, uh, well, a couple videos ago, but if you guys wanna see how I styled them, this is the video for you. If, before getting into this video, make sure to like this video if you guys actually do like it um, and also stay tuned for the other videos that I have to come. Um, I'm on, I'm off of finals now, so I'm gonna try and crank out a lot of videos for you guys content-wise, so let's get right into it. The first outfit that I chose to show off for you guys today is kind of like a generic Balenciaga type of outfit. Uh, I used a pair of pants that I have used in the past. Um, it's more of like an alternative for the typical Balenciaga pants that you guys had, like you were really big fans of. I don't really have any other way of finding them because I did thrift them. A lot of people do love these pants, like, um, but it's the best affordable alternative I've found for them in general. So I paired those alongside um, my St. Woods and Nike collab shirt with the air in the box on the back, just to keep it kind of basic, but with some subtle branding, uh, keep it kind of a sporty vibe along with like how um, like business slash casual that it is, um, trying to contrast it too. And then uh, on the bottom, I just keep it pretty classy with the uh, Balenciaga boots. Um, the two, like the bottom portion is very like Demna heavy. Like it really looks like a full Balenciaga fit with the pants because it does look very similar to the actual Balenciaga pants. And then on top, it just makes it really sporty, more wearable, not as like um, formal. So I guess it would make it more like ease of wear for like going out. Um, this could be like a, a daytime fit and you can also use it into the night. So if you want to wear that outfit for a full day, you definitely can. Going second uh, with the second outfit that I chose, the second outfit is more of like um, something that I'd wear like going to school. I did you wear this outfit going to school. It was the first time I wore the Balenciaga, um, Balenciaga shoes to school um, slash boots. Oh my God, it's hard for me to talk today. I paired the boots along with the top men pants that I have used in the past video. Um, I just love the way these fit and it reminds me a lot of going back into the way Demna styles things to be paired alongside with one another. Um, these pants look a lot like the constructed or reconstructed um, Levi's uh, Vetma pants, which I'll put on the side right here. Um, they look pretty similar without all the different cuts and everything in it. Just the wash itself, it looks very similar to a classic 501 Levi's. So I do love the way that looks along with the boots. It's just like a perfect fit for me. And a lot of the Essence models do have something around um, the likes of that when you see them on the site. Um, so I, I took that as like the bottom portion. And then for the upper, uh, I decided to keep it pretty cropped. I just like the whole fit of it. It looked, looks very like dad-esque, but like pretty modern at the same time with the silhouettes. Um, I used Jacob's hoodie, um, the navy hoodie. I found a perfect way of wearing it and it is with this outfit. Like it just matches perfectly. The blues look really nice when, uh, alongside one another. Like the wash of the jeans and then the navy in the sweatshirt is just perfect. And then um, if you are going out, cause I know these are kind of like we're in the winter time. So if you want to adapt it to the winter environment, I threw a black overcoat with that and it looks wonderful. So good. Last outfit is kind of something that would be more like um, common for like other people, which would be like type of like a, like a, a rocker type outfit, like if you want to put that in quotes or whatever. Um, but yeah, 
pretty like easy way of styling it like the other two was more like me actually thinking of how i could base outfits around these shoes um but this is like kind of like a go-to that you could follow on like if you just always want to make it making sure that like you could have like an ease of wear in these boots like because i know it's kind of different with the square toe and not a lot of people are liking it but if you want to learn a pretty easy way of styling these this is like probably a go-to for you so i kept it with the black acne skinny jeans that i always wear whenever i need a black pair of skinny jeans i go to those um those are the thin used noir i believe um but yeah those uh, along with the boots obviously and um I just kept it like really slim on the bottom, very rock star esque, a little bit of stacking, a little whatever. It looked kind of like, uh, like a Balenciaga slash heady, like if they were to collab in a, in some type of weird way. Like, yeah, that's the type of vibe that I get from this outfit. And on the upper, I kept it with the Toi Paradis hoodie, um, the red one that I got recently that has like the Dipset esque um, imagery on the front. And uh, it's all red, pop color, really, really nice. Um, with an all dark outfit, you definitely need some type of pop color in there. So I chose the red hoodie, looks really nice. Um, and to top it all off with the black leather um, jacket by Ore, just like it completes the whole like rock star esque uh, type outfit that you would try to expect with a black uh, pair of boots. So yes, that was like my three main ideas. Let me know which one you guys liked the best one two or three um and i'll try and do more outfit videos like this hopefully a little better with the detail and everything i know they weren't like the best film they're off like an iphone but like at the same time we're indoors it's winter outside i can't be going outside with those boots like they're just gonna get destroyed because of the salt so um i'll do what i can while i can but Definitely leave any other video recommendations you have in the in the description below. I have some other things that I have planned in my mind. I just have to let time progress so I can actually get those out because like everything just has to wait to get finalized for some of the ideas that I have. But yes, thank you guys for watching once again. I uh, appreciate it. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already as well. And like, um, follow me on Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is my Instagram. So make sure to go follow me on that. And that being said, thank you guys for watching once again. Peace.